Hey there, drone fans. Today I'm outside to test the object avoidance capabilities of the brand new DJI Neo2 drone. Now this is a topic that a lot of pilots get confused about because they hear crash detection and object avoidance and kind of think they're the same thing, and they're really not. Now crash detection is a pretty basic function that a lot of drone companies have started to incorporate into their products, and it typically involves a set of cameras on the front of the drone with stereoscopic vision, just like your eyes, that are looking for a solid object somewhere in the distance that you're heading to with your drone and will warn you well in advance of hitting that solid object like a wall or a tree or your neighbor and let you know that you're heading for a crash there and it'll actually stop the drone before that happens. Now other products are using infrared emitters where they're bouncing infrared signals off of the solid objects and even newer products are starting to use LiDAR which is a much more sophisticated technology that helps a lot during the evenings when the light is low. Now, DJI's had that for a long time. A lot of products have that. But obstacle avoidance is an entirely different technology, and it's a lot more complex because it involves the drone itself understanding how big it is in 3D space and essentially drawing a digital bubble around it so when it's flying through a complex environment, it's still noticing the solid objects, but what it's really paying attention to are the holes that it can fit through because it knows how big it is, and it can calculate how big the holes are between the objects it's flying among, and it'll find a path around those. Now, what's really cool about this is it acts like a, like a co-pilot in the drone. So when I'm flying through a complex environment like the one behind me, which is what I'm gonna do in a minute, it'll actually look in front of me and say, hold on a second, you're heading for a tree. Now I can have it break, and that's not really gonna do what I want. I'd rather have it say, there's a hole over here, let's go this way, and then get back on track and go over this way and avoid the second tree or the bush. So I haven't tested this yet. <laughs> now this is a feature that DJI pioneered years ago, and they've had four or five versions of it out, and they called it APAS, which stood for, or still stands for, Advanced Pilot Assistance System. And I'm telling you, it's like Martian technology. It is absolutely amazing. Every time I use it, I'm just blown away by how good it is avoiding solid objects in a complex environment like this. Now, on the Neo 2, they haven't talked about it a whole lot. At least I haven't seen them talking about it, but I wanted to check to see if it was available. And if you go into the safety menu on the application, you'll see the ability to either break when it sees an object or bypass it. And if you turn on bypass, that enables this obstacle avoidance, which is gonna be really cool. So what I plan on doing is putting the drone up and flying at full speed into this complex woods behind me. Now, I don't know what's in there. I don't want it to hit a tree, because believe me, I do not wanna to have to truck through those woods to try to find the drone, because there could be all kinds of wild animals and snakes out there. I think I saw Scott Sasquatch over in the corner a little while ago, but anyway, hopefully it gets in there and gets back out okay. But I wanted to run this test because I use this drone a lot and it does a really good job of following me through the woods and all the rest of it, but there are times where I wanna fly it through the woods to capture some beautiful landscape. And if I know this can get through these woods, I pretty much can put it up anywhere I know it's gonna avoid an object. So, all right, enough me yammering here. Let's see if I can get this thing going. So let me start the recording. There we go. <laughs> now I'm gonna spin up the props. Okay, props are spun up. Let me put the drone up. Let me spin it around. I am so nervous, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how nervous I am. I'll find it if I lose it out there, but hopefully it doesn't run into anything because that would be really embarrassing. I'll probably never post a clip if that happens, but all right, so let me lower it because I want to give it a challenge to see if it elevates to get past that stump right there. And I'm just going to fire it at those trees. So here we go. Oh man, oh man. Okay, it's dodged that one. Go, go. Battery level is low. Uh oh, battery level's low. <laughs> No, no, don't do that. Cancel, cancel. All right, I'm going to take a chance here. The battery. Oh, it's coming back. Let's see what it does on the return. This could be interesting. All right, it's coming back, and it's still using. It's still using the crash avoidance. That's incredible. All right, so that it's the second part of the test. I didn't even plan on doing. Look at this guy coming in. Get over here. Here's the mat. All right, it's going up. It's coming down. This is sort of like a combination test of. Return to home and, oh, please land on the mat. This would be beautiful. Okay, either way, I sent it pretty far into the woods there and it flew just great. And the battery was low, so you see it come back. It's gonna land right where it took off. So it's got precision landing on return to home. Oh man, that's unbelievable. All right, so, so I, all right, enough already. So you got two tests there in one. I only expected to test the obstacle avoidance part of it, but you just saw the return to home as well. And here's the best part. 
The obstacle avoidance was working phenomenally on the way out, and when the battery got low, it said, you know what, Rick, you're not paying attention to anything, so I'm taking over. I'm gonna fly back and land because you're a complete goofball. Anyway, it came back out, and it was using that obstacle avoidance on the way out to navigate between the trees, and boy, I've got it all on video. So I'll post that as part of this clip, but for me, knowing the fact that this drone has that smarts to avoid obstacles out in the field, just think about the complex calculations it has to do. It has to know where the solid objects are and keep track of that, but also know where the holes are that it can fit through. And I'm promising you, I'm pretty good at flying. I don't know if I could have navigated the woods as well as that did based on the video. I just think it's a phenomenal feature. So thumbs up for that. If you guys are thinking about the Neo 2, this drone is probably 80% of my flight times these days. It does everything I need it to do. The only place that I'm a little bit wary of it is in really windy conditions down at the shore or up high in a mountain because because of the way the ducting set up, it is a bit of a slave to the wind, but other than that, boy, it's everything I need in a drone when I'm out there shooting selfie videos or I'm doing any kind of uh, TikTok video or whatever I'm doing, this guy's with me every time. So that's all I really had for today. Hopefully you found this review helpful. You actually got two tests in one there, which was pretty cool. Um, so thanks again for watching. And until next time, as always, I hope you guys are getting a lot of airtime. <laughs> Happy flying. Mm -hmm.